Hi, I'm Jay Cross, and I want to take a few minutes and share some thoughts on online collaboration. This is tied into some workshops that I'm giving in Australia next month, and we have two full-day sessions in Sydney and Melbourne, and some of it is the usual stuff. You've heard it before, collaboration, communities of practice, informal learning, internet technology, knowledge management, learnscapes, metrics, performance support, social networks, and tools, talent management, and Web 2.0. Now, we can do that. I mean, it, uh, it, it takes giving examples to make it come true, but that's quite doable. The tough part is a new challenge, because rather than just talk about this stuff, I want to give people something to come home with. So, among the performance objectives for the workshop are identify and prioritize optimal learning projects for your organization. Select one or two. And uh, be able to present your informal learning vision to your stakeholders upon return. So, we've got 10 hours of work and 5 hours to do it. And I decided, well, it's time for a cheat sheet. So I've prepared a cheat sheet, and I'll show you where to get it on the web, but I just want to walk through a couple of aspects where you, you know what's there and can assess, well, is this worth my time or not? Heather Rutherford, Rutherford and I were talking about providing this just to the people who came to the workshops in Australia, and then we thought, well, hold it, no, why not? You know, it's easy, share it with the world. So it's not quite made for you, but uh, I hope you will find it useful. Now, the sections. First is, why does collaboration make a difference? And it makes a difference because when people work together, it's a lot more than the sum of the parts. Uh, it's a more fulfilling work environment. There are fantastic results. Things happen faster. And in the eyes of management, morale is stronger. And innovation can be planted. This dream of having innovation decentralized and throughout the organization only happens when you have collaboration. Now, what's in it for you? I have a, a section which is really pre-work for people who are going to attend the workshop to go around and see what rings people's bells. There are so many things that you can do it's like an embarrassment of riches. So I ask you to go around and say, well, which do we want? Do we want to speed the flow of information? Do we care about improving customer service? Do we want to slash bureaucracy? Create a nerve center for corporate news? Yada, yada, yada. Thing is, <laughs> you, you, you got to pick and choose. You want, you want to take like one. Uh, it, it's not useful to try to, quote, boil the ocean, unquote. The idea is that this software and systems now are simple, and even a fool can use them. They are cheap, and they allow you to try things out. So the approach is to do it yourself, pick a simple thing, something that resonates, something that's going to have legs, something that will impress people, something you can show results from, and just do it. And then use that to build support among sponsors up the line and you know, show people, you know, what you can do and hopefully get buy-in for it. I've got some best practices on social software in general. Some things to challenge the project champion. One of these projects usually doesn't happen unless somebody is really gung-ho. But it takes more than enthusiasm. So some of the things that I suggest at least are to uh, specify the current situation, uh, define what we expect things to look like after the project, uh, talk not only about how things are going to be accomplished, but what's the business benefit of doing so, uh, what might go wrong, who do we expect to, it's sort of a, you know, just a checklist of things that the project champion should be tasked to do. And then we've got a little bit of just a checklist on sustaining momentum. 
because it, the, the real easy part is up front when things are novel and new and exciting, but, you know, three months down the road when sort of the hoopla is gone to keep something alive is a bigger challenge. Now, I, uh, let's sec while we talk here. I, here, come to jcross.com and within 10 minutes I'll have a, a copy of the stuff we we're just talking about up and loaded. There'll also be information on the events in Australia, should you care to make the trip or, or already there. And also there's a, a click, a link to a survey and it's a survey of what practices people are really using. This takes three minutes. This is not some long drawn out deal. But if you complete the survey about your organization's uh, attitudes toward the web, I mean, do people have blogs? Do they have blogging policy? Can people go online uh, and get anywhere on the web? Fill it out, and we'll make sure that you get a results, get the results when they come back in. Oh, boy. Uh, pollen count here is incredible today. So here in Berkeley, I've got allergies so bad that I'm thinking of just going to seashore tomorrow. But made it through this, so take a look, come to, and uh, give me feedback if you think this is a way that can, you know, help your organization institute online collaboration. Goodbye.